cool things back. It's a bit strange so far, but we're just waiting for waiting. <laughs> we're just waiting for our overnight train, our Kuchet train, um, to go to Berlin. Um, so that's where we are. Right? It's weird because there's loads of other people doing the trailing as well, like different groups, and everyone's kind of doing the same route. And I don't know, it's kind of a camaraderie feel. We all just like <laughs> lost, lost it into the toilet. It has to be here. Is it? Yes. <laughs> Hi Beck. Hello. Oh, I will show you this. I bought today to take home with me. This is Hannah's most exciting thing. <laughs> White chocolate. White chocolate Oreos. They were bought in Amsterdam. So, yeah. If, if you don't feel happy, just remember these exist. <laughs> I'm nervous about the Kuchette. I'm nervous about the Kuchette because we walked past the train with Kuchette before. It's not my expectant, but you'll be seeing it pretty soon. I definitely thought it was going to be something I thought it was going to be like, like Harry Potter but with Ben. I knew it was going to be crap. I thought it was going to be crap, but I think it's going to be more crap than what. <laughs> Beck, any unexpected experiences? Um, I don't know. I mean, like, train arriving in yeah. Germany. We're in Germany. We're in Germany. So over the past, in the past three days, in the past three days, we've been to the Netherlands and Germany and England. That's true. All in one go. That's true. So <laughs> we're in our couchet, couchet, couche. You can really hear it in the train. Elmo, what's it called, please? Couchet. Couchet. We're in our couchet. That's the third top bunk. This is the third top bunk. Um, that's the second middle bunk. That's the bottom bunk. I'm actually that's the bottom bunk where Jackie is. Hi, Beck. <laughs> that's the uh, other middle bunk. Sorry, this is upside down. Where Kirsten is. And I'm just on here now, but I'm, on, I'm actually on the other bottom bunk. And this is a little little doors with the windows, a little shelf up top, a little ladder. It's a bit weird because you can feel all the movements and stuff, and it's just it's quite cramped. But yeah, well, it's quite cool. It's quite it is cool. quite cool to have triple bunk beds. I, I, it's a life dream of mine to have triple bunk beds. Well, there we go. So, yeah. there we go. So, yes, we're on our way from Duisburg to Berlin um, on a coochie train, overnight train. Um, with six oh my gosh, it's like it's square, room. like what sort of idiot puts a square blanket on a rectangular bed? And then there's there are six beds and there's only five of us and we thought we were going to have a stranger but we don't have a stranger so that is, that's possibly the best news of today. So, yes. Oh, I might put some, some whatever scene on it. Hello, future selves. Hello. So, <laughs> so we are um, in our six bed dorm thing on the train and we've like, it's about an hour an hour, would you say? After we discovered that Hannah, Becky, and Kirsten had their bags stolen, it's horrific. We don't. We're all. I think we're all still a little bit shocked, but we're trying to like kind of keep the mood light. Um, it was kind of horrific. We we acted on it now. Basically, what happened was, I woke up and I saw the door was open, so I went to try and lock the door, but I couldn't figure it out. And then I saw that Kirsten was. I got back into bed trying to go to sleep, and I just could not sleep because I knew my bag had gone. I didn't know if someone had taken it or if one of us had moved it to like under the bed or on the top shelf or something. So then Kirsten woke up, like she was fixing her covers, and I woke her up and then we checked the entire room. I don't even know if you guys know this. Mm -hmm. I was like climbing on the one bed. See, how did I not wake up? I mean, eh? I don't know. I never did. It just like out of it. I know. And then I was like, to Kirsten, should we wake up And then we eventually, then Kirsten realised hers had gone. And it came to the point where like we couldn't find them. It wasn't just like. We can't find them a little bit. Like it's like they're not here, them. yeah. So we were, <laughs> took a while, but we were down there. And the time was, it was 3.07 in the morning. Oh, man. It felt like 6 o'clock. And then we straight to Elmer, and then we went back. And we were like, honey, or was she? No, we, we eventually were okay. We saw, we could yeah. see Clothes really. And turned up back to God too. So Elmer's and Clothes were still here, but mine, Becky's, and Kirsten's had gone. So. We went, went on a light. Straight out that door and we marched down the train until we got stopped by someone who was like, What are you doing? We can't really talk. That could 
in the fridge, okay, obviously you can't expect that, but it's kind of difficult, it's like, asleep, then awake, gone. <laughs> 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 and, um, and then he said to keep going to the end of the train to find station staff, but at the end of the train, it was just a window. So then we started coming back down again, and then, um, and then we finally found a man, and he helped us, and our bags were found in the toilet. So now um, Hannah has a wee bag. And um thankfully the stealer didn't take our passports or internet tickets, thankfully. Yeah. They took um, money from Kirsten and Becky. And they left my all my stuff open. But I didn't think they had time or whatever to get some but we're gonna be okay. We're gonna be good. Yeah. We're gonna be, we're gonna be a okay. And Chloe, anything to add? I think Chloe's asleep. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna keep going. We're not giving in. We're still interrailing. We have our passports. We have our interrail ticket. I'm gonna call home. Yes, we're gonna be okay. Okay, so it's now the afternoon evening of the longest day in the world. <laughs> the longest day in the world. So, as you saw in the last video, we were robbed, and then it also turned out that I was robbed here of my, all my euros. Your rose? All my euro. I can't say it. Euros. Your rose. Your rose. Um, so, we've come to Berlin, we found a hostel, and then we went for breakfast at Natalian. Um, <laughs> it was brunch. It was, <laughs> It's about half we had a very odd waiter as well, didn't we? Yeah, we had a strange waiter who kept... He insisted that we all wanted bruschetta. <laughs> and now what are we doing out there? We're gonna run for this for <laughs> Here's a little song I wrote You might want to sing it note for note Don't worry Be happy In every life we have some trouble when you worry, you make it double. Don't worry. Be happy. Where are we? Don't <laughs> in Germany, in Berlin. <laughs> Although I don't feel like we're in Berlin at all. No, I, I agree. It's actually super impressive. It's very impressive. It's massive. Just a lot bigger than I thought it was going It's quite cool. It's cool, yeah. I really 
like it. I think it's really cool. Yeah. Basically, I don't know if you can read this. Here we go. So it's, I did work with my It might be in Germany. It basically shows the time in different countries in the world. Um, in Honolulu, it's currently 5 o'clock in the morning. So it's a 24 hour clock. And then this wizard round two. It's really cool. Here we go. Right. So, Amsterdam, Berlin, Brussels, Budapest, Madrid, Paris, Prague. Uh, but they're all currently four o'clock. Whereas London, it's three o'clock. So cool. I really like that. And I'm trying to see so but you can, it kind of moves ever so slightly. Not really. I wait